not what anonymous Greek uncircumcised pork eating Greeks wrote with their own <laughs> hands and attributed it to Allah. The word of uncircumcised men from Greece. Okay. Uh, a couple others who just joined, Sam Shamoon. God bless you guys all. You guys have the patience of Job. I need to learn to be like you guys. May the Lord transform me. I have been after Elias for years to join me. I don't know how you got this guy to join you. And God bless David Wood. He's a lion to put up with this guy. But I couldn't pass the opportunity. And I apologize to rain on your parade. Because I want Elias to quote the verse of the Quran where it says you need to get circumcised. So let's start with that. Elias, it's a give me the verse in the Quran. Don't tap dance. Where it says you must get circumcised. Because you kept saying uncircumcised writers. Give me the chapter, the ayah of the Quran that says you must get circumcised. We'll wait. Mm, okay, okay. A any ayat where it says that you must obey the Prophet, it enables Sunnah, okay. and then the Show Sunnah me where tells your us to. In the Quran says, get circumcised. Get circumcised. Ah, in, in, the, in the sunnah. This is where you're going to get embarrassed because now I'm going to give you the sunnah where your Prophet also says, circumcise women. Did you circumcise your daughter? Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, in my madhab, it's not obligatory. I don't care your madhab. You said sunnah. The sunnah is not yeah. the madhab. The sunnah is the hadith. No, sunnah is also a madhab. No, it's the hadith. Bukhari Muslim, if I quote Bukhari in Muslim that talks about women getting circumcised, that's your prophet. Did he not just say go to his prophet? So I'm going to go to your madhab. Yeah, he also says to follow the three pious generations. And those okay, three pious so generations now, are Adam. Can you madhab. show me in the three pious generations where they said that you need to get circumcised on the eighth day? Yeah, all oh, madhabs uh, Give me say. Oh, stuck for Allah, get stuck for Allah. <laughs> Give me the first three generations where it says you get circumcised on the eighth day. Why on the eighth day? Because you just said that the New Testament is written by uncircumcised people, which means you're assuming the covenant of Abraham, which has to get circumcised on the eighth day. Did you forget that part? I didn't assume anything. Yes, you did. You keep saying uncircumcised, meaning they're in violation of the Abrahamic covenant. And in the Abrahamic covenant says males get circumcised day. So we're going to try it again. Where did the first three generations say get circumcised on the eighth day? Uh, first three generations, they affirm the, the sunnah. And then in, in the sunnah, it says okay, to for circumcise. The love of but Allah, not on the where does day. the sunnah say get circumcised on the eighth day? So we keep going in circles. It, it doesn't say on the eighth day. Say it I again. Never, I never did. I never mentioned. I don't the care what day. you said. Say it again. We want to hear it. Music to my ears. Say it again. Okay, I, I'll say it again. Music to your ears. Nowhere does it say eight days. And nowhere that did I mention your eight prophet, days. according to your criterion, is an uncircumcised dog. Because according to the covenant of Abraham, Genesis 17, 9 to 14, it says, any descendant of Abraham who's not circumcised eight day, he's cut off. Thank you for proving that your prophet is an uncircumcised dog who's cut off, burning in hell. Glory to Jesus, Muhammad's master. Master and judge. Now, the second thing, are you aware that your Quran calls the revelation of Moses Al Furqan? Do you know this? Yeah, it was the Al Furqan. Uh, say it again. Before the revelation of uh, the gospel. And, okay, no, say uh, it again. Uh, wait, 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 one more time. The Torah is what? Before the revelation of the gospel, no, no, the Torah say was before, the because even what they had, they had what Moses had. So I'm asking you a simple question: Does the Quran say that the revelation of Moses is Furqan criterion? Make music yeah, to my yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you just argued that because the Quran is Al Furqan criterion, that somehow that meant to be used to judge the Bible. But if Moses's Torah is Al Furqan criterion, that means it too is the criterion to judge. So how do I use the sure. Torah? To judge? What am uh, I going to judge? You? What am I going to use to judge? Uh, you you embrace Islam. You die on Islam. No 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 no. Inshallah, there is no to, Islam in Torah. You go to heaven. So if I use the Torah as my criterion, reason answers. Can you do me a favor? Can you open up chapter two, of the Quran, verse fifty three? So we can educate Elias. This guy was acting brave, even though David schooled him so badly, he didn't know what hit him. Praise God for people like David Wood and all you guys. Chapter two, verse fifty. Read it for my my stone kissing friend who follows the Sunnah and kisses the stone like his prophet. Yeah, like Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 6. Yeah. No, no, Isaiah, I'm going to use Isaiah. To, but remember, Isaiah is corrupt. So guys, you see what he just did? He went to a corrupt book, Isaiah, to prove that his prophet is okay for licking a black stone. But I thought Isaiah is yeah. corrupt. Say to me, Isaiah is the word of God. So I can use Isaiah to bury Muhammad further. Say it. Say, Isaiah is the word of God. Isaiah is not the word of God. Oh, but you just appealed to Isaiah to justify your pagan for licking a black stone. No, I just no, no, I didn't. I didn't. No, okay, I just uh, mentioned can you read the verse. Chapter two, verse fifty-three, for our stone kissing friend. I sure can. Listen to your Quran. When the Quran's being recited, hush. Two fifty-three. English is not the Quran. Oh, good. So that means the Quran is only okay, Arabic. Fine. Can you read Arabic? Yeah. Hold, on, hold on, reason answers. Can you read Arabic? No, I can recite Arabic. Oh, guys, did you catch what this pagan just said? English is not the Quran. It's in Arabic, but he can't read the Quran. So then, how do you understand the Quran if you don't know Arabic? 
Oh, we recite it. So can you recite yeah, 253 but... and then explain it to me? Uh, it tells uh, you that the, the Torah no, no, don't read is English. the English. Recite it in Arabic. Don't read no, English. No, I can't recite it in Arabic. Arabic. Say it again? I can't can do it in Arabic. One more time. You, oh, stuck for a lot, stuck for a lot. You're making music, halal music. You can't read it, and yet you're acting like you know what you're talking about. Okay, let's go to English. Yeah, the English is not yeah. in When he reads the English, this is my question. Are you going to respect what he's reading, or is it garbage because it's not Arabic? It's not the Quran. Yeah, sure, I respect it. Yeah, okay, but it does say it's a criteria. Okay, so I'm going to read it the way Sahi International with their inserted words first, and then I'm going to reread it without them because there are several. And remember when we gave Moses the scripture, the standard to distinguish between right and wrong, that perhaps you would be rightly guided. Wow, brother, now, I love this the translation. These answers. You can stop right there because it just translated okay. for one. That what was given to Moses is the standard between right and wrong. Music to Elias's pagan stone kissing ears. Okay, let me ask you a question. You said the Torah. Was the Torah given to Moses? Yes, of course. Give me one single verse in the Quran. Listen to my argument. Where it says the Torah was given to Moses. Show me. Not Kitab of Musa. Show me in the Quran where it says the Torah was given to Moses. Go ahead. Literally, that, that verse that he just read. <laughs> no, it didn't say it's the Torah. Can you read? Are you blind? It says Kitab. Yeah, it refers to Torah. No, it doesn't. Prove that yeah, the Kitab you, is the Torah. It says scripture, right? And it actually calls it the standard, which didn't earlier tell us that the Quran is the standard? Exactly. That's my point, Ray. And I got another one for him, but I'm going to help him bury himself with his own arguments against David Wood. Let me try it again. Here, the Arabic says Kitab. Show me where the Quran says the Torah was given to Moses. The verse where it says, I made the prophet, it enables Sunnah, Sunnah tells us that Ijma is okay, infallible. Where, Ijma does says that prophet, this is, uh, where does your prophet in the Quran say the Torah is given to Moses? Oh, uh, where it says to obey the prophet. Is this guy serious or is this what happens when you kiss the black stone so much? I'm a Sunni Muslim. I'm not a, I'm not a Karenist. Okay. Even I'm not a Sunni when you go, you remember you said the first three generations? If I now quote the first three generations to embarrass you, that they said the Torah means all of the scriptures of the people of the book, not just the books of Moses. If I now give you the references, are you going to say, I apologize for pretending to know what I'm talking about? about because the Salaf, the first three generations, used the word Torah for all the scriptures of the people of the book. You ready for me to give you that? What, what's your point? I don't understand okay. your point. Like, where, where are you getting you with Because you saying Torah, Torah of Moses, and I want to know where did you get that information from? Okay, now, you said the Quran doesn't mention the Bible. This again shows why you should go back, hiding in your bedroom, when I used to call you out to debate, because you just embarrassed Muhammad. I don't Can even you know who you are. You're probably means? confusing no, no, no. me with someone. Can you tell I don't me know what you. Bible means? Bible means uh, books. No, Bible comes from Latin Biblia. It means book. Can you tell me what the Arabic word is for book? Uh, usually it's kitab. So when in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 113, it says they both read the kitab, what would that be called in Latin? And please answer honestly, because I'm going to now give you your scholars, your Quran translators, and I'm going to give you even the Greek Quran, because the Quran was translated in Greek, Tikanis. When it says in chapter 2, verse 113, they both read the book, the Jews and Christians, Kitab. What would that be in Latin? Uh, I don't care about Latin. I don't know. No, you better care because you just cared about the word Bible not being in the Quran. So stop the tap dance. What would the word Kitab be in Latin? I mm, have no idea. Biblia. And if I take the Latin Biblia into English, guess where we get Bible from? So Bible is from Biblia, which means book. Book in Arabic is kitab. That means every time the Quran says, Ahl al-Kitab, it means people of the Bible. Busted. Now let me ask you, do you have any reference that your prophet, he did circumcised or he was circumcised? And what at what age? Never been circumcised. So look at this hypocrisy. He says and he claimed that he is Abrahamic. He claimed that it is from the ritual of Allah. He claimed that this is the, from the order of Allah, but he is the last one to be circumcised. Now, I want you to show me where Allah, where in the hadith, where in the stories of Muhammad being circumcised. Otherwise, Muhammad is a, is a najis because circumcision yeah. is a must in Islam. Why? Because this is tahara. As long as yeah. circumcision is a must in Islam, why your prophet was not circumcised? No, lack of evidence doesn't mean that he, he, he never happened. Uh, no, the lack of evidence, that's on you, because simply this is, should be mentioned even in the Quran.